How's it going guys? My name is Mighty Mac and welcome back to this channel. Now before this video starts, if you guys can please consider smashing that like button and subscribing and consider joining the Wolf Gang. You know, subscribing is free, so you know you can always change your mind. So, you know, be a part of this community that I'm growing on my channel. We we are just growing like so much. It's it's insane. Anyways, guys, this video as you can tell by the title, it's all about will Super Animal Real die? It will anything. Will it die? Will it grow? What what are my thoughts within this and really what I'm you know speculating within the future with this game that I'm hoping to see and stuff like that. But basically this video is like will Super Animal Royale die in my opinion and I'm gonna go over all the facts for you guys and I'm gonna give you my opinion and you guys might have a different opinion, but you know that's what it's about. So this there's not much information out there when it comes to uh, numbers and people playing the game, right? So there's there's only a few things like one thing that I couldn't find is I can't find about how many players are on the consoles like on PlayStation on Xbox and Nintendo Switch. There's no numbers out there that will tell me like how many players are playing say daily or weekly within that. The only kind of graph that we have seen or that I'm going to show you guys is actually Steam which is for PC players and I'm going to go through that little that graph but you have to take in mind it is only PC players and with the numbers of those people. Now, I don't know the facts with the consoles, but I'm gonna guess that console players, there are a lot more console players than PC players. That's just my guess and thought. You, let me know what you guys think as well, um, but I'm gonna go over these facts with you guys right now. So guys, welcome over here. Um, as you can see, I pulled up this. This was when Super Animal Royale finally hit uh, one million players which is just crazy and honestly I love this image it is very sick but besides that they hit 1 million players and this was seven months ago guys seven months ago they hit 1 million plays and this was around June or July or something around then now with that being said Super Animal Royale literally just tweeted a few days ago uh, this they have now 5 million players 5 million super animal super animals that's what they're saying the plays are and that's really cool so seven months ago from today literally from today they had 1 million players and now now it's 5 million plays so that's say seven months ago it has literally grown by five five times the amount of you know five times 1 million is 5 million of course so it's literally grown five times the amount of plays that it did seven or whatever months ago. It doesn't matter, but that is just that's just crazy to think about. And now this is like the only kind of statistics that we get with actual players. Now this graph that I'm going to show you from uh, Steam, this one right here. Even though we have some ads, but I'm going to zoom in. So when Super Animal Royale was released in 2018 there was no there was not really any plays as you can see here like Super Animal Royale like these are actually this records live players by the way and this was pre-release on PC and there wasn't many players and then basically um, Super Animal Super Animal Royale became free on Steam in 2020 in November so let's try and find that point on this timeline so this is September October and November so guys around October and in between like say October and November that was or well, the end of November that was literally when you know Super Animal Royale became free to play on Steam for players because usually you'd have to pay like $12 or something like that in order to play and no that is what was considered like founders edition and whatnot so basically this jump you know the month prior I feel like that was a jump just because people wanted to be a founder of this game before it like fully came out free because if you were a founder you had a different color name you got like other kind of things in the game whatever so I think that's why there's a little jump right there compared to basically the end of November 30th when it became free for players and since it became free I feel like that's why it had a little little gain increase within this graph and guys again remember this graph is only for PC players Steam players only and then basically I don't really know what happened here it had a drop dropping point where in April 2021 at this timeline 
Then May 2021, there's a massive spike, 6,451 players. I don't know what that was. Maybe there was an update or something. And then basically the same thing happened in July 26th and there was a all-time peak of 7,514 players live. And this was just PC players, remember. So imagine with console players, who knows how many console players there are literally playing this game. And then we basically get down to a drop, but see this August 30th point, I want to I wanna quickly say that this was a major update for this game because this was when Super Animal Royale was released to three major consoles, the Xbox um, series, the PlayStation series, and the Nintendo Switch. But these numbers are still going down and I'm like, how how are they going down when you've just literally included three more platforms? But that's where you have to consider again. This only records PC players and it doesn't record console players. So as PC is going down, console's going up, guys. Console's going up. I was one of those guys. I didn't find it in August. I found it towards the end of September or the start of October. That's when I found this game and I was like, shit. Like, I just wanted to play something you know, cool, fun, and Super Animal Royale came up on the free to play in the PlayStation Store, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a go, and this is where I am now, and I love the game. So as this keeps dropping and whatever, then has little spikes, little spikes, whatever. I don't, I don't really care as much with uh, this end of the graph because it only records PC players, and I think this little spike there was. December 13th, more players come online, which was around 2,000 people for Steam, and that was literally Season 2 release, and that was the full cross-play release where you can party up with whoever you want to play with. So guys, that is literally the only kind of information that is really for me that I can do with talking about this video, and now I'm going to be talking about... Will I think this game will grow? And basically, the most important information you need to take from this is not that PC graph, because that that's, that's not really anything, but I needed to show some sort of numbers for you guys to understand, but I wish I could show some console numbers, which would be cool, but maybe if you guys can find something and let me know, or put the link in the description so I can look it up as well, that would be, that would be cool. But the big thing you have to consider is that seven months ago, this game had one million players, and now today, it has 5 million players. So it took seven, 7 months to times 5 the amount of players that are right now. So imagine what's going to be the next 7 months. Maybe, maybe it will double, maybe it will get to 10 million plays, who knows. But all I can say is, if this game keeps delivering what we want, which we wanted crossplay, we wanted full crossplay, and Season 2 did that, they did that, the developers did that, so they, that was a big thing for this game, and for the community, literally for many people to come and play and join the game, and as well as new releases on Google Stadia and all the other platforms that it's on. But another big move that they should do is have this game on mobile, like you know how Fortnite is. But if this game came on mobile, which I think the mechanics would be really easy as well, this game can just be insane. Like, you, you, there's so many you know, younger kids and the younger audience where they all they have is maybe an iPad or iPhone and then they can get this game. You know, the game craving kids that love YouTube, love watching video games, love Battle Royale games because that is still a thing. Battle Royale is still a massive thing. So if it became out on mobile, this game I think would skyrocket even more. So that's just another thing in consideration which I hope they will bring into a further update or to say technically release. Either way, if they just keep doing what we want, uh, I'm sure that this game will continue to grow and continue to grow, and there's so many new players keep coming in, people thought of this game as a joke, and then they ended up loving it, and like, there's so many stories with this game that how people just have grown to love it, and I am one of those people, and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video are in that same category with me as well. So guys... Will I think Super Animal Real die in 2022? No. I do not think it's going to die. I think we're going to continue to grow and grow and grow. It might have a growth and then a steady moment and then another peak and maybe have a low, but it's going to still grow to so many players. And you guys just have to be positive with this game, and I'm super positive with this game because the developers and the, the company, they're doing everything right, at least 
what I believe, considering they're a small, smallish <coughs> group. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff like this, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one and goodbye. Love yous, Wolfgang.